I just caught a house gecko. Uh, this is probably an Asian or Mediterranean species of house gecko. Not exactly sure, because there's so many species of house gecko, but I know for a fact this is a house gecko. Now, this is a really cool house gecko because of its uh, stripes. Most of them have um, a lot of different patterns. Some of them have no pattern. Some of them are almost like see-through. But this one has these stripes and it's pretty interesting. So it looks almost like a morning gecko. Um, this is a fairly small one. Normally they're about the size of my middle finger, but this one's about half the size. Uh, we already did a video on the Mediterranean house gecko of Arizona, but uh, this is another invasive species like th that one. That's why I was saying it. They're very similar. And um, this one probably came from somewhere um, in Asia. So uh, these geckos eat flies, spiders, mosquitoes, moths, everything. They sometimes even eat each other, being that they're so small as babies. Um, and they're really cool in the fact that they can stick to windows, walls, anything. Uh, this is thanks to their pads, which have microscopic hairs that basically go into any crack there may be. People who keep these as pets kind of know that if they lose them, they're not finding them again because <laughs> how fast they are. This is a nocturnal species. You'll see them all the time at night. They just can be a little hard to catch. Like um, you have to wait for them to kind of trap themselves. Um, these geckos are kind of feared around here even though they're like extremely harmless. And that's why they're, they're so readily lose their tails is because they're really fragile. And you want to be really careful with them. So I'm just going to release it right where I got it, which is on this wall here. So I'll stick right on and off it goes. <laughs> 